omahasteaks.com is a place you can go to help you save some time. It's a busy time of year. You're running a million different directions. The last thing you want to worry about is a healthy, delicious meal. It's, it's true. I mean, things start getting busy. Things start popping. We, and we've talked about this before. After you get past Labor Day, um, you've got school events, you've got activities going on, you've got all these other things that it's like you shift gears, right? Mm-hmm. So you want to make it as easy as possible to get the food together so you can have really a good meal but you don't want to spend all your time shopping. That's why you go visit their website. So you can take a look at, say, oh, the Deluxe Grill Out Assortment. And use the promo code Pat and JT. That's going to save you 50% off the Deluxe Grill Out Assortment. Plus, you'll get 12 free burgers with that as well when you pick your 30 entrees. So those would be the really good entrees. I mean, mm. my favorites would be like the, the all-beef meatballs. Of course, the filet. Bacon wrap filet, no less. Ugh, of course. Uh, what would you go with? You're still, are you still hanging in the dessert aisle? Uh, the dessert aisle. Hot, <laughs> hot dogs and dessert are my jam. <laughs> so, yeah, so they have the best hot dogs. And they have great sides to go along with that. Over 30 entrees, like Pat said. And you can share it with your family. Like, uh, I tell you, just make it as simple as possible and save over 50% off with those 12 free burgers. Go to omahasteaks.com right now and don't forget the promo code Pat and JT to save over 50% on the deluxe grill out assortment. Season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh, my, now I'm here at last. The best time always going to be the best. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Well, we're glad you guys are listening to our podcast or watching it. It's our Facebook Live, YouTube Live Friday. Um, if you're not, go to our YouTube page, Facebook page. The video will be up there, but otherwise, wherever you find your podcast, make sure you rate it, review it, share it with your friends. Um, subscribe. Subscribe. YouTube. Call mom, wake her up, and grandma, and tell them to yeah. get on the train. So every Friday at nine. So now we've done four in a row. It's been, it's only, it seems like we've done 46 of them because the first three have been just disasters. First three absolute awful. And then again, we had another issue this week. Hilarious. Yeah. We both walk in here with our green screens behind us, right? And what did we both wear? Green. Green shirts. They're for I had to go up to our storage room and get a hurt at long sleeve blackie. Yeah. And, and then I found out my shirt, this is totally green, but it looks oddly gray or black. It's, it's trying to decide what to do with me. Is what it's doing. That right makes now. me very uncomfortable. I just saw your bra strap. Did that you makes really, me very uncomfortable. No, you didn't. Whatever that is. Yeah, right there on the side. Right, where, where? Well, don't do it again. Just trust me. That's I saw it. Where? Well, the, right. That's my shirt right here. This right here. Move it over the other way. The other way again. No, the other right. way. Like that. Right there. It's a bra strap. That was a bra strap. Oh my god. <laughs> makes me very uncomfortable. I'd be more uncomfortable if you didn't see one. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> It reminds me of when I accidentally touched your boob that one time at the Omaha Entertainment Awards with my elbow. Still sometimes I wake up in a hot sweat. Hot sweat, cold sweat, whatever. Cold sweat, please. Yeah. God, please. Okay. (laughs) Hot sweat's completely different. Um, Oh, my God. So, yeah, so we walked in here and both of us were like, ah, so take off and find shirts. Breaking news, we were going to use a green screen on a Friday. Oh, well, this is the second time we've used the green screens? Yeah, second. And then before that, we had tried some other. But I never, and I never wear green ever. That's not my go-to at all. I have one green all. shirt. Me too. Right here. <laughs> um, so you can text us at 402-403-9478. Um, LJ texted in and said, I got to zoom in here a little bit. Oh, we were talking about 75 hard you were, a couple yeah. episodes ago that you are considering that. She goes, uh, sign me up for the six. Meh. <laughs> 75 hard is a hard pass. <laughs> we, we came up with different levels. Maybe you build up to 75 hard. Right? I know some people mm-hmm. just like to jump in the dive or dive into the deep end, jump in the deep end. I'm not one of those people. I'm just not. <laughs> Got to dip your toe in first. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so, six meh might yeah, be okay. Might be okay. So, I'm going to start. See, what is it? Five different things. So, maybe try to do 75 days exercising every day. That'd be a big deal in and of itself. Right. Period. Right. 75 days reading 10 pages every day. That would be a yeah. big deal. I That's love a big that deal. face you made. <laughs> I mean. Um, but any of those five things that you have to do all at once, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. But it's no wonder. I mean, it, it is meant to be something that kind of like re- resets your mind. Yeah. So you have more confidence in yourself and, and follow through. And it's like, <laughs> I like to tell myself, I know I could do it. Right, I don't need to, I don't need to prove anything to myself. Right. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do the opposite of 75 heart. Um, this is from Courtney. Mm-hmm. Um, we were also talking about runners calling them out on their, their mileage V kilometers. Oh, and when you say kilometers, it sounds big, like a big deal, but it's really not as long as mile. Anyway. 10K. Right. She says, uh, I also hate running. I love those. Re- I, these are the reasons I only run. I only okay. use another one. Uh, being chased, 
I'm late for a flight or since I have kids, if they are in danger. Those are about it. Those are about yeah. it. Yeah. I can't think of any other reasons being chased. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen very often. Um, when was the last time you were a chased? I don't think I've ever been chased, chased like in an angry way, like somebody's going to hurt me. By an animal, not by a person. Yeah, by an animal. Yeah. I guess chase, it doesn't have to be by a human. Yeah. But, but that, that I can think, and that's been a while. That's been a minute. But like. I think yeah. I've, I've been chased by dogs. A dog. I've well, been of chased course, by. That's, you're almost mortally wounded. With my Achilles tendon, yes. <laughs> I've been chased by many turkeys and chickens. Pissed yeah. off turkeys. Chickens, Pissed definitely. Chickens. chickens, definitely. I've yeah. had that happen. I think that's about it. Um, oh, my, I, my brother was chased by a cow. I was going to say cow. I've, I've had the, the, the honor of the cow chase mm. and, uh, and getting the hell out of the way of a couple of horses that were messing with each other. Like, oh, that'd be scary. You don't want to get in between that. No, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> Climb the fence right now. <laughs> One step. <laughs> uh, if you guys are on Facebook and YouTube, you can comment. And if you, uh, last time you were chased, let us know. I would love And if to it was by that. a human, that would be fantastic to hear that story. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've ever been chased by a human at all. I mean, good or bad. I mean, other than like in a sport, I would say no. Your brother's I'm, there, chased by a turkey. My brother. <laughs> my brother also, uh, <laughs> we've told the story many times, but he was chased by the turkey, but then he also... The, the turkey mounted my brother as well. So apparently the turkey caught him. His first, his earliest experience. Yeah. Right? <laughs> birds, Nothing bees, funnier. Birds and bees and turkeys. <laughs> Nothing funnier than belly crawling to shoot a rabbit and you see your brother <laughs> making love to a turkey behind you. It's like, Mike, what's going on? <laughs> sorry, Mike. Uh, sorry about that, Mike. Okay, so... Um, uh, this I'm is from so Aaron. glad that happened to you, though. Oh, uh, it's the best. I don't, and I don't. <laughs> he just flipped you off. <laughs> I, it is. It is the best. Here, I'll uh, chased show. by a turkey and a rooster, eight years old. Long, long time. There ago. it is. Thanks, Mike. Mom. There Appreciate you go. <laughs> um, so, the yeah, I mean, of of I of all people for it to happen to, and it even happened. It happened when I was 12 years old. Like, who would think that that's that happening to me at that time in my mm -hmm. life would go on to be one of my greatest stories to ever stories. tell? Like, who could ever say that they were a assaulted by a turkey? Really? That way. You could have easily have dismissed it. Fortunately, you hung on to it. Oh, fortunately. <laughs> um, okay, this is from... Um, <laughs> okay, so this is from Aaron said, also commenting on the episode about runners lying. I happen to be married to one of those crazy runners. She's done all distances up, including 100 miles, not kilometers. Oh. Um, oh. I, went to, I went to high school with someone whose husband runs the crazy, like, 120 mile, where they eat pizza while they're running. I, it's insane. I mean, it's props to those guys. I don't know how you can guys. do that. I don't know how you can do that. Because, okay, first off, <laughs> I guess you, you get to the point where you're able to talk while you're running. Right? Isn't that supposed to be a measure of your fitness that you're able to have a conversation while you're running? Or have a conversation just while you're walking up a flight of stairs. <laughs> oh, I'll talk to you on the third floor. Or you get to the third floor. Okay, what'd you say? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then to be able to eat while you're running. I, I know. I don't get it. Okay. And then, and, the, and people like that are crazy runners like that, mm -hmm. first of all, I mean, it's awesome. You're like superhumans. But they... Um, <laughs> Okay, there are two things. They, I know that they like just wet their pants. They just go to the bathroom while they're running. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I know that runners, even ones that don't run sh like long distances, if you get far away from us, sometimes you, you, it just kicks in and you have to find a bush like to. I don't understand. Okay, when we were at Sweet Sock that day, I swear to God, because it was hot, number one. So hot. We were drinking water like crazy. I didn't pee till I got home. Yeah. Like I all day. It just didn't happen. My body was like, mm. We're using, on to this water. <laughs> We're yeah. using it all. And we drank a lot. I mean, we drank a lot of liquids of different kinds, but a lot of water. A lot of water. I, I literally probably just had a handful of pops. Um, just drank a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And there was no <laughs> sign of it. No, I know. I, I peed <laughs> one time and that was it. And then the next, yeah. Yeah, you're right. And so, I didn't think about that till the next day. And yeah. Beth was the same way. She only like went one time. Yeah, exactly. So to be running, that's yeah. amazing that your body's... Like, okay, it's okay. We can let this go because mm -hmm. we're running. Yeah. Like we're running for our lives. But. There was a person in Lincoln, I think, uh, Beth told me about, and it was confirmed by other, and we may have talked about this, that there was a, a person in Lincoln that has been like this, the, was the pooper. Like she's been caught on Oh my God, cameras, I remember that. And like, and so when we talked mm -hmm. about that and then people said, yeah, that happens. You're four or five miles out and all of a sudden it just kicks in and you've got to go. And That's yeah, she was caught on security cameras. Like at a bank pooping behind a U. Oh my God. So we, the other day, one of our, podcasters was in Mike when mm -hmm. he was in and we were talking to him I don't know how you guys got on the conversation but you got on the conversation of routine mm -hmm. and um 
of that whole, oh my God, taking a shower after you poop. I want to say, first of all, good morning to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it comes down to, you have your, your, your schedule, mm-hmm. and so, so you keep things regular. Right. So you think that the mad pooper obviously does not have a ritual or a schedule. You would think. There is no routine there. Because if it just yeah. out of the blue hits her... I mean, Are I would you think, kidding? I think one, one, or twi- one or two times out of the blue, like because of whatever reason is acceptable. But when it happens all the time, that becomes a, that's a pattern and you enjoy going that's doing almost that. almost on purpose. Right. I'm just saying. Um, okay. So she said, for the record, marathon and half marathons are in fact miles, not kilometers. Okay. So 26.2 miles and 13.1 miles. Um, let's see. We, we've got that now. We didn't know that. Before. I will have you know they do lie. <laughs> they do still lie because the running turns into forward motion uh, for any kind of miles after that. So running <laughs> is in is a loose term for some. So really, it's just a thirteen point one or a twenty six two. Yes, it's just marathon or half marathon. You don't really say anything about running. A twenty six point two. Mar- Marathon. Move. Movement. Movement. Forward movement. <laughs> a lot of, lot of move. Okay, we can move past that because okay, it just gets into movements. Okay. <laughs> already got, already, we already went down that road. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So how are your, how's the, how's the move going with the boys? You've um, got your son is moving out and they're moving into their new place. Are they moved or are they moving or they're moving, where are they at? They're getting the keys today. They, they, <sighs> the leases are signed um, today. They're paying their deposit. They're oh paying... God. Um, yeah, their, their deposit for the house, get their keys today. And then they're just slowly moving stuff in over the next couple of days. One of them is going out of town for a week okay. and he's one with the truck. So they're going to move whatever they can without a truck. So yeah, it's, it's nuts. So we're getting the, um, Bennett is the one that's going to have the internet in his name. One kid's going to have MUD, one OPPD, then they're going to obviously split it. But okay. so we're doing that whole thing where you call, we haven't set up, I haven't set up services for, you know, a few years, obviously, since we moved and Beth handled all that. Well, you did too when we were, well, you probably didn't pay attention. We moved our office. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I mean, it's, I'm just not a, yeah, I didn't pay attention. Lights don't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, so we call, we're on with, cause there's only two options really in town. There's CenturyLink and then there's Cox. And mm. we have CenturyLink. I love CenturyLink. Never had an issue. And so got on the phone with CenturyLink yesterday. And they're out, even if you self-install or have a professional come out and do it, October 27th is their first opening. October 27th. This doesn't make any sense to me. Is this place already wired? That's what I asked. I, I talked to Marjorie on chat this morning because <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to get up in the morning and find out and see I'm what's gonna up. I'm going to fix this. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. And, and she said that either install or she, has, she, does, she doesn't know if it's wired, but either way, which doesn't make sense to me. Either way, it's now it's the 27th because the 26th is full. So that's a long time for adults to wait, let alone 19-year-old kids that have to, you know, What's their, uh, aim. what are their phone plans like? Do anybody have the unlimited? Yeah, Bennett. Oh, I'm sure they all probably probably do. So a lot of hot spots. A lot of hot spots. <laughs> I don't know if you can hot game on a hot spot, though. I mean, you might be able to, but. I don't know. I don't know. So, we're, so now we're going to go down the road of, mm. of Cox, which is a little bit more expensive and. But they can do it sooner. They can do it like in 24 hours. <laughs> See, that's one of those time and money things, right? Yeah. Like, has, if, it's, if you need it right now, you're willing to pay for it. Mm-hmm. But is it the better service? It doesn't even matter at this point. They just want it installed. They, they just want it installed. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today and then moving stuff in. This. I never understood that. To this me, it weekend. just seems like they should be able to just flip a switch. It's I like mean, the electricity. If you don't pay the bill, they should flip sure a flip switch. a switch. Yes, they can. So, why doesn't the river go the other direction? I don't know. So, but Cox is super easy. Last time we we did their install, whatever a self mm-hmm. one, you plug stuff in, you log in, and you're on and go. Yeah. Oh Just my god! So they're getting that done, so they'll be moving in then this weekend. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's nutty. <laughs> uh, Pam posted and said she was uh, chased by a turkey and a rooster at eight years old, long, long time ago. <laughs> Both have happened to me as well. <laughs> I love that. So is Susan. Yeah. Chased by, if you, if you lived at all in the country, had family in the country, you were you probably chased by yeah. a rooster. You had to. Uh, oh, Laura, I hear you. Service issues all the time. I'm not going to say which service she's talking about. Y'all can just guess. We all know. <laughs> not even going to say. <laughs> all right. So, um, aside from that, anything new in your Instagram world or? Uh... A couple things. Okay, good. Um, and we've mentioned this before, <laughs> but, you know, I'm glad. Britney Spears is getting some of her freedom back, right? I'm so I, I, glad you brought this. Well, I, I'm, I am, I'm super glad because I felt we all felt bad for her for so long. I know. Um, so I'm glad she's getting the opportunity to kind of live her own life and spend her own money and all that stuff. But I got to tell you, man, and we've said this before, sister, got to help yourself a little bit. 
right? So yesterday on Instagram, she, let me find it. She posted basically, I mean, not naked really. I heard it was everything, what, well, nothing but a thong. Yes, nothing but a thong. Right, and, it, and there's one of her dancing and nothing but a thong facing the other direction away from the camera. Dance. And then on her story today, she posted, and I don't, and you guys can go check it out on Instagram. I don't know if you can see it here, but a picture of her foot, and it's like, and it says, and she stepped on a nail. Ouch, guys, <gasps> stepped on a nail. Guess you can say I nailed it. And she just posted that. It's just. What the heck? Right. I mean, I get it. Well, I hope she has her tetanus. <laughs> it's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Not the first thing I thought of. I've, I've and stepped, I, I have stepped on nails before. On the farm. Mm-hmm. Without a doubt. So I'm, I'm very familiar with Mr. Tetanus. Yeah. It's not fun. It's <laughs> not fun. Shot, it's not fun getting shot. a tetanus shot. But still, like, why would you post that picture? Why would you post that? And I'm not criticizing her specifically. I'm just saying if that were me, yeah. first of all, I, my feet were, were they're dirty. Like, why would you post <laughs> your dirty feet with a hole in it? Well, her feet like, don't got, look so bad. It's like, Do you they? Got it. Well, I mean, it's still a whole foot with a hole in it and dirt all over it. It's just after what you've gone through, I would think you would yeah. think I need to have like my best PR foot forward here well, because you're not helping yourself, dude. So uh, speaking of which, too, because I was like, where are we with this conservatorship and, and the whole deal with her dad? And a story that was just put up today literally just said, why does Britney's dad suddenly want her free four weeks after he opposed being removed? And then Jamie made the heel turn on Tuesday when he asked the court to terminate the conservatorship over his daughter. He said in the court papers that were filed on September 7th, so mm-hmm. that's just a couple of days ago, <clears throat> that while the conservatorship has helped his daughter through a major life crisis and helped rehabilitate her career, kept her finances in order, but because Brittany herself has pleaded with the court to let her have her life back, he is requesting that the judge do so. Okay, that and that, if that's... I don't know. That's probably the best thing. I mean, it's obviously the best thing for She's her. She's going to be 40 this year. Which she needs to. She needs to. I hate to um, I hate to reference Pitbull <laughs> again this week. Um, your spirit animal. But okay. when he said, he's like, people have to, you have to have the opportunity to make mistakes in your life, especially when you're her, her age, you mm-hmm. know? So they, they work so hard to keep her in check because she was their golden goose. Mm-hmm. So they wanted to make sure... She didn't mess up anything, and instead they pushed her over the edge. Yeah. I, right? I still think her dad and her family are a bunch of dirtbags, but. I do, too. I do, too. Um, oh, hilarious. Okay, so going back to comments real quick. Naked Freedom. That's very good. Uh, best foot forward. Wah, ha, ha, ha. That's what the uh, fuck. <laughs> and then finally, Carmen says, I just figured out how to put the captions on so I can look at work. <laughs> you oh, can the see video? the captions so you can see the captions. That's awesome. I know. Slowly <laughs> but surely, guys, we'll get this all figured out. Right, yeah, we're all we're just kind of figuring it out. It was train wreck the first four weeks. Well, green shirts. I mean, we made it through the first month, mm-hmm. and so we'll start having more people on guest wise as well. Um, that's going to be so. Yeah. That'll be the next shit show. <laughs> so we'll see that'll, how that works. That'll out. be it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of fun to do this. It is fun. Um, yeah. And so if you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, great. If not, it's. Pat and JT, mm-hmm. just search that. Um, you can text us at 402-403-9478. Email, hey, at patandjt.com. Slide into our DMs. Yes, it works. and I was going to say, too, if you heard um, Denise Zach on yesterday and you have any questions about how to contact her or if you do want to contact her, all you have to do is reach out to us, um, DMs or, or text or email or however. We'll get it figured out so we can get the information passed on to her for the next time she's on. So that'll be fun. And I know since we're live, and if you're listening to this in the afternoon, you've probably missed it, but that this afternoon when that soldier comes home, yeah, um, it's going to be, I can't even think about it without, and I didn't know yeah. him or the family at all, but mm-hmm. just thinking about what those, every soldier has given mm-hmm. and, and this group and having him a, a local kid. And I hope everybody shows up today somewhere along the route, if you can, and just show your support. Cause it's just, I can't even talk about it without like getting teary. Cause it's just I, such an such an important thing. It really is. Um, and they're expecting thousands to show up. And that's for Marine Corporal Dagan Page, 23 years old. 23. Just think about that. How old's your son? Yeah, 19. I know. I think, and, I, and I haven't really thought about that specifically. Right? But I, I think that's probably why is because you just think of what at, at that age, what, what he's experienced to this yeah. point and what he's going to miss. It's just heartbreaking. And, so, and when I was driving in today, I drove by the funeral home or the, the destination mm-hmm. and realized it right as I turned the corner. I was like, oh, my gosh, because I'd looked at the map, see what the route was. 
um, along I-80 and then coming down 680 and cutting across on L Street, Mm -hmm. taking Millard Avenue to 144th. Um, So anywhere along that line, if you can find a place, I would. Yeah. Well, and and um, earlier in the week when they f- announced kind of the day they didn't have the route yet, yeah. they showed some file footage on Channel Seven of when the police officer was killed in Lincoln and the people lined the interstate, the interstate. bridges, and that was impressive. And that was just over the interstate. Yeah. So now we've got this opportunity we've, for all that whole route for people just to pack it. The interstate's tough here because there are no overpasses, except at the stack, right? So, but once they get on L Street, I have a feeling, and then also at the very beginning of the journey from the airport. I imagine there'll be a lot of people there and probably at the, at the funeral home. Yeah. Millard Avenue will, yeah. will it's probably. Gonna, it's going to be crazy. Um, so if you can Hopefully. get a chance to. that, Yeah, exactly, and, and so glad that he is able to come home for his family. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. This is, this is something, a very emotional weekend all the way around. I heard that the funeral services also will be next Friday okay. um, because this weekend, obviously, a lot going on with the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Which, yeah. Um, and that's something that with the fact mm-hmm. that this is the day before 9-11 with this, this is a very yeah. emotional. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's just a, a lot to think about. And um, I think, you know, the 20th anniversary and then everything else that's going on in Afghanistan. And, and there's just so many different emotions for a lot of people in this country right now. And we just focus on home and focus on bringing one of our own home. And so I welcome him and, and prayers for the family. That's right. Uh, all right, lighten it up just a little bit before we go. How's your mouth hole? Wow. Did you get? Did, did you, you get really just do that? Well, I'm just saying, just to lighten up a little bit. How is it? Did you get it? Did you get it fixed? It's going to be a process. <laughs> just sound, maybe that's why the update. camera's still over here. <laughs> no, that's why we can see two thirds of your living room on that side of your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching on YouTube, wow. Facebook <laughs> Live, and uh, for downloading our podcast and subscribing. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you guys for <laughs> Pat and JT Podcast, a Huda Media Production.